In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the in-demand jobs in the UK, apart from nursing and doctors and all these other healthcare jobs that are trending. I'm going to be sharing with you the ones that are also included in the shortage occupation list that are in high demand in the UK and you can easily get from abroad. So companies are beginning to recruit these people from overseas to come and work in the UK and they are eligible to receive the skilled worker visa. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you these ones that are also really really trending and people are taking advantage of and they are also eligible for the sponsored visa i'm going to show you where you can find companies that can sponsor your visa if you are able to get a job and i will be going to be showing you what these occupations are so if you're interested come on let's go Linda Eze here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Linda Eze. I'm a registered nurse and I work in the UK. In this channel, I share information about nursing abroad, getting jobs abroad, health and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those, be sure to subscribe and always come back for more and I believe you will not regret it. And if you're a returning subscriber to this channel, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it and let's get into today. As you may have noticed, after the pandemic, a lot of things have actually changed in the UK. The Brexit and all of that. So, so many jobs are actually in demand in the UK. So, it all depends on if you have the skills and if you are willing to move to the UK. So, these jobs are always included in the shortage occupation list if the UK find that they need these skills and they also want people from overseas to come and fill these skills for them. So, if you're interested in working in the UK, it is also very important that you also look at the skills that you have. If you don't have any of these skills, then it's also good for you to make a plan towards these kind of high demand jobs in the UK. So these in demand jobs that I'm going to be sharing with you here is actually included in the shortage occupation list and I'm also going to show you a website where you can also find companies that are willing to sponsor these kind of skills. The first one is programmers and software developers. Now, the demand for digital skills these days are actually growing. So, if you notice, even all over the world, not just the UK, because a lot of companies are beginning to move online, a lot of people are beginning to increasingly use the online services. So, they also need people that have skills in managing things online, developing softwares, and in providing services online. So, if you have skills in the digital if you are a programmer and a software developer, this job is included in the UK shortage occupation list. And if you get a job with any of the approved employers, you are going to be eligible for a sponsored visa to the UK. So usually people that get jobs in this particular regard are people that have degrees that are related to computer science, IT, programming, and all of that. So if you have skills in IT, if you have skills in computer science, or any digital skills at all, and you are able to apply to any of the companies I'm going to be showing you in the later part of this video, this is actually for you. It is also included in the shortage of patient list and most of them earn an average salary that is usually above £25,000. So if you're enjoying this so far, please give this video a thumbs up because it will help in the YouTube algorithm and please subscribe to my channel. Please please subscribe to my channel because I'll be sharing some of this important information at all times. The second one is cyber security specialist. In one of my videos, I mentioned a closely related job called the ethical hacker. Now, the ethical hacker job, they earn a lot in the UK. And this is also closely related to the cyber security specialist. So these people, they help to keep companies safe. Just as I have mentioned, companies are beginning to go online. So they also want to stay safe from all the penetrators and scammers or whatever you may call it. So they also hire people that have experience in cyber security. They hire people who are able to keep their company safe. So if you have a certificate in cyber security and you have a certificate in any of these digital skills like ethical hacker like I explained in my previous video, you will find this a very good opportunity for you to come to the UK and you may be able to find a sponsored visa to come and work in the UK. This job, the cyber security specialist, is also included in the shortage occupation list and it is an in
in demand job in the UK. So if you have this certificate, if you have the skills, this is the time for you to get it. The third one is architect. Now, before I made this video, a friend of mine was really worried that she moved to the UK and a, and the husband also has this architecture skill, is worried about getting a job in the UK. So when I found this, I was like, oh, they are also included in the shortage occupation list. That means that there must be a pathway for them to come to the UK since they are also in high demand in the UK. So architects are actually in high demand in the UK. It's left for you to actually look for those companies, yes, look for those companies that are willing to sponsor your visa. Find out what they require from you. Find out because sometimes you see these jobs in the shortage occupation list in the UK, but then you don't find a job. So what I would say is that look for those companies that actually sponsor this visa. Look at their vacancies and the kind of certification and what and the skills that they are requiring in the area of architecture. And then you go and update your skills and then you apply. So these are the ways that people actually migrate to the UK. A lot of people are taking off. If the government included architects in the shortage occupation, that means they they actually need them in the UK. So it's left for you to now upgrade your skill and take the advantage of this to come to the UK as an architect. It is a high demand job as you can see and this can make a whole lot of difference for your career. The fourth one is graphic designers. Now, this particular one, I've seen a colleague that the son is a graphic designer for a company and he earns so well in the UK, even though this particular one grew up in the UK. But the graphic designer role in the UK, their salary actually varies because it depends on the company where you find this job. So if you are very good in designing logos, websites, and all these other, other graphics that are used for companies and all of that, this is a job for you. And if you already have experience with this, look out for jobs and companies that are recruiting overseas for graphic designers and apply. You will be able to get a sponsorship if you apply for a job that is already included in the shortage occupation list. So it now depends on the kind of experience you have, the skill that you have, and then the company that will actually take you. So if you have experience already as a graphic designer, why not have a look? Fifth one is physical sciences. So the oil and gas industry and mining industry in the UK are also facing a lot of shortage in their staff and then that is the reason why this is also included in the shortage occupation list and therefore is in high demand in the UK. So if you have experience working in oil and gas, this might be an opportunity for you to get a job in the UK and also get your visa sponsored. Now, the degrees that are related to this, you have the geology, you have geophysics and all of those courses that are related to mining and oil and gas and all of that so they are also in high demand in the uk so if you have experience you have a degree in all of this look out for those companies that are recruiting overseas and you may get your visa sponsored so i'm going to be showing you shortly where you can find so this. even though you have the skills okay you also need to get a job for you to get a sponsored visa in the uk so the website you can check is called the uktf sponsors Dot co dot uk so when you go to this website you will notice that you have a search button what you need to do is that you just go to the site button where they wrote all industries so there you will now search if it is architecture for instance just click and all the companies that are recruiting and also licensed to sponsor tier 2 visa will be there that's the skilled worker visa as it's now called will you will now find them so for for the architecture you will see that they have like they have their website, they have the company name and the all that. So this was rating and all of that when they were added. If you want to go to IT and telecommunication, then you also see, you click the search button and then you see the 5G Communication Limited. They have their website there, they have their rating there and all of that. They also have another one, 9 Thin Limited. So you see there this this is where you can find all these companies that are able to sponsor your visa and there are a ton of them in this website okay I find all these companies there and what you can do is to track these companies check their website check their linkedin pages check read.co.uk check all these job search websites and look out for these companies and their vacancies okay you can send them emails you can apply to their vacancies you can check for their previous vacancies and know how what they require the skills that they require so you can use that to also you know beef up your own skills so that when they have another vacancy you find yourself ready for the so i hope you 
found this video useful and informative as possible one good thing that you can do is to share this with someone that you believe we need this information and also use the information that i have shared in this video because that's the most important thing okay use the information beef up your skills or if you are coming to the uk as a dependent or anything you will know the areas that you also take courses that will help you okay so one thing important thing is that you can actually apply for these jobs by yourself without using agencies now you have these companies you can apply to them directly and then you can do all of those processes by yourself without paying anybody any money okay so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video